Jackson Radio Show. I was at my parents' house about, um, about a month ago. I was watching TV with my dad, right? And we were, they had like, uh, the gay pride parade was on that weekend. We're, well, whatever makes you happy. And, um, and they, uh, and they were showing, they had like a live feed, not like a live feed, but like they were showing, they were, they were showing the parade, right? Like, we're watching the parade, right? And then all of a sudden these three gay Indian guys came on the screen, right? And they appeared, right? <laughs> so, so I'm watching it, right? And these three gay Indian guys are like, hey, we are Indian and we're gay! <laughs> We represent the gay South Asian community! <laughs> and my dad looks at me and he goes, That is disgusting. <laughs> Do you know them? <laughs> I said, Why the hell would I know them? Because they are of the gay, and you are in the entertainment business. Then my dad started to get really irritated with them, you know, because they just kept showing them on the screen. It didn't really bother me, you know, because it's just, you know, it's gay pride and they're just being proud and gay, right? So, so my dad started to get really irritated with them, going, this is wrong. We should not have gay Indians. Indian men should not be gay. I go, Dad, we got a population crisis over there. We could use a couple of homos in India right now. Hey everybody, welcome back. Kevin Jackson here. It's the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. KJRadio.com, 844-551-8255. And um, I brought up a topic in the first segment, which is, uh, I saw this thing that came across one of my different feeds, and it said, it's transphobic not to date transgender. And I thought to myself, okay, we got another thing we got to be concerned about now in America, because Here's the deal. If I'm a young man and I'm coming up, you know, coming of age and, uh, you know, I'm out there, you know, looking for women, I'm not going to look for somebody that's transgender. It isn't uh, necessarily against them, per se. I'm just not into the transgender. So they say, well, Kevin, you're transphobic. And I'm going, no, I'm not. Given a choice between a beautiful woman that I can build my life with and a beautiful transgender woman, you know, formerly man, I'm going to choose the woman every time, every time. If I know I'm going to choose now, that's not to say you ain't going to marry me. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's not to say you can't fool a brother because you can. I never forget. I was in Austin, Texas. <laughs> and one of my good friends from high school, he goes, Hey, man, where do you want to go? I said, I don't know. What, what's to do? He goes, well, we'll go up on 6th Street. And so, you know, we hang out. And I said, cool, let's do it. He goes, but before we go, he goes, I got to take you here to whatever. It was to another friend of mine, two of us together. But the one friend was the one that I'd gone to see. His name is Samarian. So he goes, you got to see this. And I was like, what? And my other buddy's laughing. We All of us went to high school together. Actually, we went to a junior high together, but we grew up in the same town. So he goes, I got to take you to 12th Street, or I believe it was 11th and 12th Street. If you know Austin, Texas, you know what I'm talking about. So we go there and I'm like, OK, cool. Just so we get over to, to 6th Street, because I knew 6th Street was a kind of a party place. So we go up 12th Street. And so and the minute we get there, I see girls in bikinis. And I'm like, there ain't no pool around. <laughs> you know what's going on? And it's it's probably it's it in the evening at the just at the at the, the you know, the barely beginning in the evening but dark. And, um, so it's probably seven, eight o'clock, something like that. And these girls are in bikinis and I see one leaning over a car and I'm like, Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He's like, Oh dude, you got it. You wait, you see, wait, 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 wait. So we turn the corner in, in what is this obviously a sketchy neighborhood that is filled with prostitutes and we're going up the way and I'm sitting there going, wow, these girls are actually out here in bikini. I mean, it wasn't like they were in normal hooker stuff they were in bikinis two-piece bikinis and i guess i guess it's competitive there <laughs> you know it's like now nah, i can't leave any room for doubt here you this is what you're getting here mister so we make the corner turn and there are three girls walking on the right and i was like kind of amazed i was like wow this is, they're actually not, not bad looking i mean they're out in bikinis 
for a man, if you're not dripping out of a bikini, <laughs> you're going to get about a one. You know, you get a boost of a one. If you're a five, you go up to a six. It's just kind of natural. Anyway, I was actually kind of I wasn't marveling it because I don't want you to think that, you know, these are like Victoria's Secrets models. But I was like, wow, they're, they're, I, they're not bad looking girls out here working. What's the deal? And then we see three of them that really look good. I was like, wow, look at them. And my buddy goes, he's like, he's like look at them. It's like, yeah, <laughs> he goes, those are dudes. I went, shut up. He goes, Cat, those are dudes. And we get close. I'm like, those are not dudes. So um, it, it's going real slow. You got to understand because there's a lot of looky losers just like us. There are people that are just cruising along. It, it's like looking at Christmas lights. OK, so it's going slow. Well, anyway, these three girls get in front of a truck, like two truck, two vehicles ahead of us. And I mean, they all all three guys out the window and they all they climb into the truck we you know it's moving i don't know two miles an hour and um we go up about i don't know three minutes maybe not even that it wasn't even that long it probably was we it was probably 45 seconds to a minute and the next thing we see the truck lights (laughs) come on and the three of them get out (laughs) i will never forget that and my buddy goes, see, <laughs> he's like, see, that dude got fooled <laughs> until he got closer. But it was so funny to watch. And so I look at the end of the day, how are you going to te- tell somebody that this is what you're, you're supposed, you're supposed to date a transgender person or you're transphobic. There's another, I have a friend, his name is Barry and a very wealthy family. And he's Jewish. And we were at a big event. This has been decades ago. And Barry was like, yeah, he goes, you know, it's really funny when I met, I forget his wife's name. They says when I, you know, it was like perfect match. He goes, uh, she was, uh, smart. She was this. And he goes, and she was Jewish. And now, and so I immediately, you know, there was a, a, you know, you've been trained in liberalism. So you're thinking, well, you know, can you really say that? You know, that she's Jew. And, and I'm like, yeah, he's Jewish. He, he doesn't want to deal with the religious implications of marrying a Protestant. You know, it, he wants a Jewish woman. Nothing wrong with that. It didn't say she, she had to be white. He just said she had to be the religion of Jewish. He didn't say Israeli. So I remember hearing that, and, and it, but it did spark this thing in me like, huh? You are not transphobic if you don't want to date somebody transgender. If you want to date somebody that's, you know, that you go, I want your gender to be your natural gender. That doesn't make you transphobic. That makes you normal. It's not. I, I know people who have no problem at all. Say, look, if, if it was a pretty person, you know, the a person I got along with transgender and, you know, profess to that. There are people that have no problem with that whatsoever. They, they go that route. No problem. I don't look at them and go, you're strange. You're, you're, you're really weird. But that's just not me. You're never going to make me feel like I have to do something just because you give it a label and go, oh, you're transphobic. This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show.